Oh, hell. Hello. I wasn't sure if it was the correct angle. Ah. Let's be real, it's never the correct angle. <gasps> Should I be fancy? Don't kill me! Can I sit here? Is it gonna be like cute or something? Is it cute for me? Oh! I just wanted a nice background. I wanted to try for once. Home. Oh. Okay. I've been watching a lot of this magical thing. It goes by the name of BookTube. I don't think I have been this psyched to read since, I can't even say it, I can't even say it. Honestly, probably just the nicest community on YouTube. I wanna insert myself into this community. You won't even notice it's happening. One day I'm just gonna pop up and be like, hey, I'm here too, ah, ah, I'm talking about things. Probably my favorite videos to watch are rants cause they're hilarious. People just get all up in arms and it's just funny. I was gonna wait until I finished the series, but I can't do it. I have so much pent up anger at this book. I saw the picture on my computer and I wanted to die a little. I don't have the actual book to show you. I have the second book, The 100. That's what we're talking about today. Cause I'm borrowing it from the library and I'm so glad I'm borrowing it and not buying it. Cause if I actually wasted money on this atrocity, um, hello? I wrote an entire review for the 100 on Goodreads, so <laughs> I'll have that link down below if you want to see and subscribe to my channel while you're at it. Turn on the post notifications down below. Comment thumbs up, huh? The second you start saying you're linking things down below or give a like to this video, it just comes automatically. Oh, uh, honestly, on who? I'm sorry, who? Don't read the books watch the show tenfold better books oh my oh, i was watching the 100 on netflix because it was interesting and i love it and i was thinking to myself this is such a good show there's no way that you know hollywood producers kind of just fathom this up themselves this has to be based on a book lo and behold my isa my smart brain i was right it is based on a book how much is based on the book maybe like 0.2%. The only things that are in common between the book and the show is like three characters and the general idea that, oh, Earth had a nuclear war and now we're sending these kids down to Earth. The reason why the show is so successful, I think, is because they decided to say, screw the book, let's just do our own thing. And thank God they did. Cause the book is just that bad. It's just, it's not good. It's, it's, it's dumb. 300 years in the future. Oh my God, nuclear war has happened. Everyone's been living up in space. That's crazy. And now, whoa, whoa, whoa. People are going down to earth. <gasps> really? What a cool sci-fi novel this is gonna be. We're gonna see how the characters get on with each other, what kind of tensions arrive. How are they gonna survive in this brand new environment that they're not used to? How are they gonna interact? It's such, so many questions and so many amazing directions this could go in. And for some reason, Cass Morgan, she chooses the absolute lowest of the low direction. All these possibilities. And do you know what the main part of this book is about? A love triangle. <laughs> I'm sorry, who? Why? Why? A love? Really? really? That is the best that you could come up with? Is that what I had to be put through? Is that what you had to do? I'm not bashing love triangles in general, but this one. So we have Clark and she's just going in between Bellamy and Wells about a thousand times in like two pages and wells for some reason which she apparently loves which like really girl you pick him how did her life go so wrong that she picked wells he's a psychopath that i'm just gonna say it right now he's a psych he's a psychopath how many people has he killed either directly or indirectly and just been okay with it because he masquerades it as this so-called love for Clark. Like, no, no, bitch, it doesn't work that way. One quote that I noticed was, he's talking about like, endangering the entire human race to like save his girlfriend who's in prison. And one of the quotes he says at the end of that little chapter where he's doing intense stuff and trying to kill everyone is, but that was his father's concern, not his. I'm sorry, you are the one that's choosing to endanger the entire human race here. You are the one 
messing with those levers and trying to destroy the Ark here, the responsibility does not automatically just fall onto your father because he's the chancellor. It falls on you, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Before I started reading, I read this one review where someone says that the pacing sucked. They could not be more right. The pace, oh, it's so bad. Someone tell me how you can write a 300 page book but only have anything exciting happen in like what? The last, maybe last 30 pages. Something is not connecting here. It doesn't, it doesn't, 300 pages but somehow nothing has happened. It's so boring. Oh my God, you know what else is so unnecessary? Glass. Number one, what what the hell? Your name is Glass? That thing right there, That that's your name. Okay, bitch. Why are we being told about her life? I thought the book was called The 100, as in the 100 kids that are sent down to earth, not the 100 plus this one random chick up on the ark still. like. Why am I supposed to care about her? Plus her boyfriend drama. Frankly, I don't give a fuck. I'm so over it, I'm so over it. I'm still gonna read the second book though, so. Ooh, the 100 test your knowledge quiz. What is the name of the third book in this? Girl, I don't know. How many people were sent to earth on the first drop? I don't know, 50? What the what kind of questions are these? Am I five or something? Huh?